Hey, food and wine lovers! My name is Marina. Welcome to my channel, Taste of Long Island Restaurants. We're looking at the heart of Sac Harbor American Hotel. I work here since 2015, place well in English, place where we work together through the pandemic, and some of our friends actually work here for more than 30 years. Today, I'm going to reveal you all the secrets of the place. <laughs> the place is absolutely incredible. We have one of the biggest wine lists in America and hotel rooms upstairs with some ghost stories from 18. Don't tell the ghost stories. <laughs> video we're going to go through the history of the place and the most exquisite food choices. You'll be the first one to see the legend cellar and its wine treasure. And finally I'll show you the hotel rooms. First we know of American Hotel is James Havel in 1730. The British officers were captured during the Revolutionary War. That's where the rumors of the ghosts at the hotel came from. Devastating fire in 1845 burned the building to the ground. Then Nathan Tinker constructed the Brill building on the site for his cabinet-making business. After the fire, it was two-family home for Tinker and his son. The Victorian porch was there from 1876 by Joshua Smith. In 1971, Ted Conkling bought the neglected hotel from the Young's family and started his graceful restoration. American Hotel. I actually owned it for two years after my grandfather died. In and I got a call from my attorney, Majapino in Sag Harbor, and he said, I think we have a, a gentleman who's interested in purchasing the hotel. And then standing on the curb was this distinguished looking gentleman all dressed up in his jacket and uh introduced himself as ted conklin and he said let's walk through the hotel and nc who lived next door had the key so she came over and opened up the hotel for us and ted and i walked through the hotel and uh ted loved every moment that he was in here looking at all of the different things and I could see his mind spinning with all of the vision that he had for what he was going to do with this place. And what you see now is the masterpiece and centerpiece of the village of Main Street of Sag Harbor. And he created all of this. Tables were set up that used to be an alleyway. So there was a wall there, which Ted opened up and created the atrium. But prior to that, it was an alleyway that extended from 114 right to Main Street. And the room that we're sitting in right now was actually the clam room, which they called. And that's where uh, they used to open up all of the shell, shellfish and clams and and uh, it was his actual working room back here. And then there was another doorway to the right where all of the bookshelves are set up. So you had a door coming in, which you use now, and then to uh, Ted enclosed the uh, area and put the bookshelves in to create the wall. So Ted, Ted did a lot of wonderful uh, additions to the hotel and uh, uh, created, created the centerpiece of, of Sag Harbor. The place was in terrible condition. 
It wasn't actively used for 60 years. He painted wallpaper, replaced refrigeration, hired one of the first chefs, and opened the hotel on 4th of July. pages is that big it's amazing all these countries you can see that has been collecting all these wines for many many years exactly 50 years as we discussed according to wine spectator 100 pages wine list was rated as one of the biggest in america Fifty-five Latesh. Oh look, eighteen fifty-five. Nineteen nineteen. Nineteen nineteen. Yeah. What's this word means? This is a third growth Bordeaux, Calan Segur out of Saint Estef. So it's saying it's hard to find them in liquor stores. These vintages. We had guests come in who said you can't even find them in Germany. 2006 Jos Hoffer. What we are looking at? We're just looking at wines that are still in box, still waiting. Some of them aren't ready. So this is what we have, you know. Um, Cheval Blanc, Pichon Longview, Petrus, Cosos Journal. Palmer, Rain Cantonac, Alpichon Baron. The place was owned by Ted Conkley from the day it was just 20 apartment building to nowadays a restaurant hotel with eight rooms upstairs. When you enter the hallway to the hotel rooms, you open your eyes to design, elegance, beauty, with outstanding history of the building. Each room has its own character and individual theme of decoration. Antiques abound, but for those with a taste for more modern luxury, jacuzzi is a standard in every room. What's most attractive to me is the breakfast for hotel guests. Daily baked croissants and scones and fresh squeezed juices. Did you know of secret townhouse rooms? 
and that there is a pool table there and mini kitchen with three bedrooms on each floor. Before that, there was a flower shop, a family home until 1998. In the same building next to the American Hotel, we have an art gallery owned by Julie Kicks. It's a perfect place to spend some time enjoying the local artists while taking a walk on the beautiful Main Street. Aren't your tables next door? During the COVID, we needed more tables because people couldn't eat inside anymore. So we had to open secret garden room. People were dining here since 2020 and it became most popular area to be. And also we do have now heaters, which makes it accessible for all year round. Ali and Jeff Sander, welcome. Thank you for being in this video. Yeah, I know you've been here for a while you come in here every time for 25 years you're really good friends with owner Dan Conklin what's the best memory for you in America Hotel there are so many good memories it's not a bad memory but we've had so much fun um, one in particular I remember is we came here for brunch to celebrate a birthday and we stayed all through brunch and it became a later brunch and a later brunch and left at like one in the morning. So we stayed for like 12 or 13 hours. Do you remember that day? I do. We were with Russ and Chris and we stayed and that was, that was a great fun. And there were so many great events that we had here. New Year's Eve with uh, all our friends, birthday parties. I remember a birthday party for our good friend Don Zachariah and uh, Jimmy Fallon was here and came over and sang happy birthday to, to Don. Uh, and that was a special moment. And of course, all the times we spent with Ted uh, and his stories about his 50 years at the American Hotel and all the experiences he had starting it and growing it and the people that came through here. Uh, I know uh, we often call this place the center of the universe. And I know also Vinny has been here for 30 years and he made his one million cocktail. The $400 or $5,600? Something like Something that. Something like that. Don't forget why we're here. It's for the pantry. Uh, donate, please. And bid on the martini. And uh, we'll get that done really good for the fit, for the uh, sag opera pantry. I want to thank my family. They're all here. They all <laughs> decided to come out here. I was blown away by that. Uh, we love let's not forget Ted Conklin, all right? Yeah. 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 Ted is probably part of the reason why we're all here in reality, because he, his vision of the American Hotel 49 years ago, just think about what this town looks like today and what it looked like then. So I think we all have him to thank for that, for sure. And I have him to thank for putting up with me for 30 years. <laughs> Number one, it was a great charity, uh, and number two, uh, I had so, Vinny make me so many martinis, I had to have his one million. So here's a question for you, Jeff. What does a $6,000 cocktail taste like? I know what Kobe beef tastes like at $100 a pop. I know what Dover Soul tastes like at 75 What does a $6,000 cocktail taste like? No answer? You have no answer? So when did you become a TV producer? Oh, just trying right now. <laughs> well, 1977, there wasn't any place to go out at night time until I discovered the American Hotel. And I started coming here and I came here five or six nights a week. It was a different kind of a place then because um, winter time there was nobody in Sag Harbor. You could lay down the streets, you wouldn't be run over at night time. But um, it was a wonderful time um, and uh, since then, I've been coming here ever since, and now I'm 90, so you 
can say it's been a long time. Susan, what brings you to American Hotel? I have to say it's the staff. Everyone here is so wonderful. They truly understand hospitality and they make you feel like you're coming home. What's your name and what was the year when you started to work here? My name is Carol Mulvihill Ehlers. I started here, I guess it was in May of 1973, and I had just graduated from college. The clam chowder was fantastic. Um, and it was served with a little extra drop of butter or some sherry added to the top. Crazy. I don't like anything about the Thank you for watching this video. Please support my channel and subscribe. And like it if you want more videos. You're still here? Unbelievable. Don't subscribe. And the keeper for most outstanding Madeira Sherry Cognacs right here. Ay, mi amor. My Te friend quiero. Louis. Te quiero mucho, mi amor. The place is absolutely incredible. We have the biggest wine list in America, and it's also a hotel with some ghost stars in there. The place absolutely incredible. We have the biggest wine list. Like One of the biggest wine lists. Me and my friends work here for more than... Ah! You still here? What happened to the red dress? Unbelievable. What? Huh? American Hotel? What?